You want lies with that? Who wants a tampon straw? <laughs> hey, baby, you want to put your sausage patty on my hot cake? Come on and get your fresh pork shake, baby. <laughs> you want to see me shove 12 nuggets in my mouth? Hey, guys, there's fresh tampons in the men's bathroom. Anybody want to open up my Happy Meal? <laughs> there's a surprise in there. <laughs> Paul had to open up my Happy Meal in years. <laughs> I, I used to work at McDonald's, too. <laughs> oh, damn. Look at the size of his big man. Who wants my special whipped cream on their horse shanks? <laughs> hey, who want to smell my filet of fish? <laughs> Paul hasn't smelled my filet of fish in years. Damn, baby. Is that a McRib in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? There's tampons in the men's room, guys. Help yourself, Can they're somebody free. somebody come and help me toss my salad? <laughs> hey, our horse shanks are filled with protein. Hey, baby. Wake I'll up. show you my milkshake if you show me your sausage McMuffin. <laughs> oh. Anybody want to dip their nuggets in my special sauce? <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. The poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man, I don't think Kamala got the memo. When you run for president, they dig in your past. Ask Joe Biden. When Joe Biden was running, he was making some fantastic tales and making some speeches and people will call him out on him being a plagiarist. Democratic presidential candidate Joseph Biden today faces a controversy. Three weeks ago at a debate at the Iowa State Fair, he used phrases identical to those delivered by British Labor Party leader Neil Kinnock. Biden seemed to be claiming Kinnock's vision and life as his own. Why is it that my wife is sitting out there in the audience is the first in her family to ever go to college? Why is Gladys the first woman in her family in a thousand generations? To be able to get the university. My ancestors who worked in the coal mines in northeast Pennsylvania don't come up after 12 hours and play football. Eight hours underground and then come up and play football. It's because they didn't have a platform upon which to stand. There was no platform upon which they could stand. The notion that every thought or notion or idea you'd have to go back and find and attribute to someone, I think is quite frankly, uh, ludicrous. The problem here is that Senator Biden told his audience he'd just been thinking about these things and he failed to give any credit at all to his famous British speechwriter. Even till now, he making lies about, you know, he did Civil Rights March, which is a lie. When I was 17 years old, like many of you, I participated in sit-ins to desegregate the restaurants and movie houses of Wilmington, Delaware. I came out of the civil rights movement. I was one of those guys that sat in and marched and all that stuff. He did uh, odd jobs like being a trucker. Anyway, and if we I don't used to do... drive an 18-wheeler, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish oh, I yeah. could. That's <laughs> awesome. I got to. <laughs> Joe Biden, he's a liar. Everything he says, you just got to look at him with a cross eye. You know, he just be fibber. He's the top fibber. I think it's contagious over here at the Democrat Party. Because when he got Timmy, Jazz has Timmy, they got him and he had stolen valor. And he talked about his rank that he didn't earn. Teacher, I'm a retired sergeant major. Uh, as a 24-year veteran of the Army National Guard and a retired command sergeant major. As a retired sergeant major in the Army National Guard out of Minnesota. And also, he says that he was a head coach of a football team in Minnesota which was a lie also. He was never the head coach. He was a volunteer coach. Tim Walls is one of those everyday people. Coach to the state champs. Teacher of the year. Command Sergeant Major. See, these little things does matter. It goes about your credibility. Now, 
Miss Kamala, she goes around and she says this. I worked at McDonald's. I, I did the French fries and I did the ice cream. I worked at McDonald's. I was a student when I was working at McDonald's. There was not a family relying on me to pay the rent, put food on the table, and keep the get bills paid by the end of the month. But the reality of McDonald's is that a majority of the folks who are working there today are relying on that income to sustain a household and a family. And if we want to talk about these golden arches being a symbol of the best of America, well, the arches are falling short. And we have... She's trying to connect with the people and say, yeah, I used to work at McDonald's. I used to do the fries. I used to do the cashier. And people can't raise families with this salary. So she wrote a book. In her book, she never mentioned she working at McDonald's. Never mentioned it. What? And so now the internet sleuths are out. They're going checking her past. And come to find out there's no McDonald's that she said she worked at. Nowhere. Think about it. Two middle class kids. One, a daughter of Oakland, California, who was raised by a working mother. I had a summer job at McDonald's. My goodness, you got to lie to say that you work at McDonald's as if though we're not going to look at your work history or we're not going to go talk to your manager and see what kind of worker you were as a teenager. These little things do matter. She didn't get the memo. Now, I want to see your birth certificate. God damn it. If you lie about this, if you lie about McDonald's, stolen cheeseburger, stolen working class history, what are you doing? But you know what? We got people like uh, Quentin Tarantino here. He doesn't care. And there's definitely nothing you said that isn't right in a normal election cycle. I mean, it, it's 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 irrefutably right in a normal election cycle where you have a year right. to set your case. Uh, I think they're just all about winning the fucking election. All right. And then the easiest path to winning the election. Look, you can talk about maybe she should have had more guts about this or that and the other. But we're, we're the fucking president. Right. And Trump's not the president, and we're the fucking president, and now it's going to be about this. But this is about fucking winning. What what most people don't give the Democrats enough credit for, all right, but we give the the Republicans credit for, it's like, no, sometimes it's just about fucking winning. And it doesn't matter how we look right. at this moment. It's about fucking winning. Right. This is about fucking winning. Yep. No, it is. It's a no. mad fucking dash, and she is running, and she's not stopping to f no. stumble. And you know what? And there's nothing wrong with I, stopping this. I'm going to vote for her fucking anyway, no matter what she says in a stupid fucking interview. Exactly. So don't fuck shit up. He's going to vote for her regardless. It doesn't matter. He just hates Trump. We got it. We get it. So if Kamala wins, you're going to get the America you deserve. <laughs> So now we got Fox News out here on the hunt. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Fox News lies. Don't believe a word what Fox News says. Believe CNN and MSNBC. I got it. Nevertheless, we got Fox News, Jesse Waters, on this lie about this liar, Kamala. Ever since Tiananmen Tim got busted for lying about being a head coach, inflating his military service, and telling Kamala he can't handle spice after winning a spicy taco competition, there's been growing doubts about the Harris Walls campaign. Tonight, one of Kamala's key elements to her biography has come into question, and it's a big one. Well, I want to ask a question uh, about a topic that really unites America. Fast food. Okay, so here's the deal. I, I heard a rumor that you worked at McDonald's. Is this true? I did. Yes, uh, I did work at McDonald's. I didn't know McDonald's. that about when you. I was in school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me too. Uh -huh. I worked registered drive through and grill. Uh, I was known as a triple threat, okay? Just for the record. I did fries. Just the, just the fries? fries. Just I did fries, and then I did the cashier. Okay, I'm impressed. Fries uh -huh. are hard. A producer at Primetime who used to work the kitchen says fries aren't hard. 
They're the easiest. And Kamala didn't even start talking about cooking fries until she decided to run for president. There was no mention of McDonald's in both of her memoirs. And so far, all reporters looking into it have found no evidence. Andrew Kerr is a reporter at the Washington Free Beacon who's been investigating this story. So what would you find? Right. Well, Kamala's story about her job in McDonald's has shifted dramatically over the past couple weeks. Um, at first, her campaign came out and said that this was a job she worked to pay her way through college. Uh, but now they say that she worked there for one summer just to earn a little extra spending money. So, yeah, we looked into it. Uh, did she actually work at McDonald's? Well, she didn't mention it throughout the first several decades of her political career, uh, made no mention of it in both of her books, including her 2019 memoir in which she devoted an entire chapter to the struggles of service industry workers. Uh, there's been several biographies published about her in the past couple of years, none of which mention her job at McDonald's. Uh, the author of one of those biographies told us that he was not aware of the claim. We obtained a job application that Kamala filled out for a um, law clerk position in 1987 that instructed her to list every job that she had for the past 10 years. McDonald's is not mentioned in that uh, job application or in her resume um, at that time. Uh, we reached out to uh, McDonald's corporate several times asking, hey, can you confirm her employment? No response. We reached out to McDonald's in the Alameda area. Uh, none would say if Kamala worked at her at their location. Uh, we reached out to the Harris campaign asking, hey, can you specify you know, which location in Alameda County that she worked at? And they won't answer. So it, it's possible that she did work at McDonald's for a few weeks in the summer of uh, 1983. But you know, when you put all this together, it just raises some very serious questions about what has become a foundational narrative that Democrats are relying on to connect uh, Kamala Harris to the working class. So McDonald's keeps pretty good records of their employees? Right. They have a, uh, a full-time archivist on, on file. <laughs> you know, we, we pestered them for weeks uh, okay. and never got a response. So they know everybody who's ever worked at a McDonald's, and you gave them a month or a couple weeks, and the maybe future president of the United States, something you'd want to brag about if you were McDonald's. They didn't get back to you with anything. That is, and you're right, Andrew, we're not saying she never worked at McDonald's. We're just saying it doesn't smell right and there's no evidence anywhere. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? You do a really good job with this investigative reporting. Thank you. Yeah, you know, it, I think a great comparison is uh, the 2008 campaign. Uh, it was a big storyline. Obama's uh, first job as an ice cream scooper at Baskin Robbins. Uh, the difference with uh, then and now is that there is no mystery at all surrounding Obama's first job. Uh, news outlets published the address of his Baskin Robbins in Honolulu on their websites. Photographers per posted photos of the location. Um, Baskin Robbins proudly touts on his website that Obama used to scoop ice cream for them. And the manager of that location you know, tout, uh, you know, joked uh, to the L.A. Times uh, in 2009 that she turned into someone of a media professional after dealing with so many reporters during the 2008 campaign. The same just can't be said about Harris. There's nothing but mystery no. surrounding her claim to work at McDonald's. Very mysterious. Maybe it was Burger King and she forgot. It's been a long time. Yeah. So you black folks who want to claim Kamala, that's your people. That's your people. I'm not claiming her. You can have her. Jeez. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you cheeseburger thieves, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>